it's faceless tech. What do we got here? Should we have a quick look inside? It is a Raspberry Pi portable. Um, most of the time I run my Raspberry Pi is headless, uh, as most people do. But sometimes it's quite easy, quite nice to have a screen. And you know, we don't always have room for a monitor and a keyboard and mouse and all that kind of junk. So I found this screen. Um, it was alright to use, but I didn't really have anything to stand it up in. Um, it's, so I kind of went looking around, found this um, Pelican style case. After measuring it up, uh, I thought oh, I might be able to make a bit of a Raspberry Pi portable out of this. So I've got a 5 inch uh, HDMI screen, it is touch screen, uh, resistive. Uh, I think it's 800 by 480, which is not okay, but you know, it's reasonable. You can get on, go on the internet with it, and it works pretty well. You go on a web page. It's good, but it's not. It's not like your phone. You can't use your finger to swipe. You have to use the sidebar and things like that. But uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll show you on the inside. It's got a uh, Raspberry Two. You could put a three if you wanted to. There's the power bank to power it, and that is pretty much it inside. I'll turn this off, and I'll give you a walk around the hardware. I've got one of my shutdown buttons that I've modified to use upside down, and. If it's turned off, power bank should keep it going for many, many hours, probably more than your laptop. Um, I had to make a modified cable because um, there's got this HDMI um, thing that comes with the screen, and as you can see there, it's very close, and I couldn't find a uh, right angled um, micro USB cable um, that would fit in this gap here because it's right down the screen, it's right at the edge of the edge of the case. So um, after a bit of looking around, I found that you could power your Raspberry Pi from your GPIO. Um, luckily on the screen, PCB, there's breakouts, so I added this um, uh, female header. And then I've just got the um, power and ground coming out of a USB cable into it, which is good. But the only thing with this is if you mess it up, you put in the wrong pins, that's it, you'll fire your Raspberry Pi and possibly your screen at the same time. So it's not that great uh, in that respect. But um, also, as well, if because there's not much space, as you can see, there's enough space for like your normal standard dongles. Uh, that's uh, Wi-Fi and that's Bluetooth. So I've actually thought of everything. You can plug this in, which is a right-angled um, USB extender. Just plug it in here to one of the ports, and then just put it all in. It left a little gap, and you can have your your bigger dongles coming out here, or even if you want a hub, you can plug your hub in. And they're all sitting out here. So if you've got a bigger project, like you've got an Arduino or something hooked up to it, you just hook it out. Uh, I wanted something, wanted the lock to be um, similar to like one of them uh, 80s, uh, you know, portable computers, you know, the first ones where they'd have like the screen fold down. So I kind of went with that lock. It's a bit chunky, it does weigh a considerable amount, but it is pretty cool. It's got uh, I've got this Bluetooth keyboard, which um, is a PS3 keyboard, uh, which is good, and it's got a little nudger, it's got a mouse built in. So if you want it on your knee, knee, say like on the train or something, or you know, you're hacking away somewhere and you want to click, you don't want to mess around with the mouse. Uh, it is a German layout, but it is QWERTY. Not all the buttons lie, um, layouts are correct, but if you uh, you know if you know where they are, you, you'll find them. Um, and that is, uh, I've, as usual, there'll be a blog post uh, in the link below with a kind of bit of a guide just to get you going, what kind of screens to look out for, other pitfalls and everything else. Um, there's laser cut files as well. I've got a laser cut by Razer Labs. Um, it's my first laser cut project. So I did have, I did try and do one myself, but I thought it looked a bit naff, so I thought that had a bit of a professional feel to it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.